Hi, this is Brad Pilon of EatStopEat.com, bringing you another tip today on how to read weight loss research. One of the very important parts of weight loss research is the protocol, or the intervention. What they made the people in the trial do to cause their weight loss. We want to make sure that the intervention uh, matches what we are doing. If you're following Eat, Stop, Eat lifestyle, then most likely you're doing flexible intermittent fasting once or twice a week and weight training. So we want to find a trial that has not only calorie reduction or a diet, but also some form of exercise. Now most trials, believe it or not, on weight loss are typically only a diet. And if they do have exercise, it's typically only walking on a treadmill or maybe even biking. So we want to make sure we know what kind of exercise was done because for it to be most effective and most applicable to us, it should be weight training. So the trials that you find, the research studies that you can review that will give you a good indication of what's going to happen with the eat, stop, eat lifestyle are the ones that are a combination of some sort of caloric reduction or diet and weight training. If a trial does not have the weight training, then it's missing out on a very large aspect of eat, stop, eat. Weight training is what allows us to maintain our lean body mass while we're dieting. And it's maintaining our lean body mass that allows us to maintain our metabolic rate. So weight training is almost equally as important as simple caloric reduction, or the dieting part, to a successful weight loss program. So if you're looking for weight loss research that would reflect what happens to you by following Eat, Stop, Eat, the best kind of research to look for is the one that is weight training combined with a form of a diet. If it doesn't have the weight training, it may not be applicable. So I'm Brad Pirlon for EatStopEat.com, giving you another tip on how to read weight loss research.